Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the last session of our Add Maths Vectors. Okay. Now look at the question. It says at 1200 hours. Now remember 1200 hours. That is the starting time. Okay. A ship leaves the point Q with position vector this. So now suppose uh, here is the point Q. I'm not going to draw this according to the scale. This is just a rough, I mean, drawing. Okay. And here is your O. So it is starting from this. This is the position vector of this ship. So our ship is initially at this point. Um, let me write this 1038. So that is the starting position. If you remember that Abaji well example that Abaji was 50 kilometer away from Lahore. So this is from O. It is at this point. Okay. Now it 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 says relative to an origin, and then it says the ship travels with velocity this. So um, now this is in kilometers. Okay. Now. Six uh, i minus eight j. So if I show you, I can show you through the diagram. Like you know, if this is your one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So every hour the ship moves this much. This is like translation. Okay. So in in one hour time the ship would be here. Okay. Now it says find the speed of the ship. Remember. This one is the velocity of the ship. So if you find this is given in vector form, okay. So if you find its magnitude, like uh, the velocity of the ship is six minus eight, and if I find its magnitude, so that is going to be ten kilometer per hour. Okay. Uh, can someone tell me that why this is the velocity? And why this is the speed? Hmm? Yes, it says it says find the speed of the ship. So we have given the speed of the ship. So we have taken it out from the velocity vector. So why do you think that this is the speed only? Hmm? There is no change of direction. There is, there is no mention of the direction actually. There is no mention of the direction. We're just telling the magnitude of the velocity. So that is why this is the speed. So that um, um, emphasizes on the concept of the the vector actually. Vector is a combination of a uh, of a magnitude and a direction. Okay. Now it says find the position vector of the ship at 3 p.m. So this was the starting time. We started at 1200 hours. So that means we have to find the position when the ship has traveled with this velocity vector for three hours. So that means okay. this. Okay. Yes, Vita. Um, equation that throws it together. Um, does the velocity does finding the magnitude of velocity always give you speed? Uh, I couldn't understand you, Vita. What are you saying? It's like. Does finding the magnitude of the velocity always give you the speed? Obviously, Beta. Obviously, obviously. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, keep on asking your problems, Beta. Whatever is the problem, whatever is the query. Okay. Now, uh, we have to give the position of this um, ship after three hours. So initially, the ship is at ten thirty-eight, and every hour it is going to translate by. This much, okay. So this should be three times six minus eight. Three times six minus eight. So that is going to be ten plus eighteen. That is twenty-eight. Thirty-eight minus twenty-four is, I think, that is fourteen. Hey na, that is fourteen. So that is the position vector of the ship um, um, in three hours. Okay, at three p.m. Okay. Uh, Find the position of the vector of the ship t hours after leaving Q. You people know this well, Anna. So for this purpose, you will be saying, okay, let me write this as O Q T, and that will be ten thirty eight. That was where uh, it, that that was where it at twelve o'clock, and then t hours after that. That is going to be six minus eight. So this is. Ten plus six t, and this is thirty-eight minus eight t. So by putting the value of t, uh, if our ship is going uh, in this direction with this velocity, uh, we can always determine the position vector of this q. Okay. Acha. 
Now it says find the time when the shift is at the point with the position vector this, with the position vector this. Now there are many ways of doing this, but sure, there are many ways of doing this. Now the easiest way is used to part C. Hmm? Um, can I put that, if you people allow me, can I put this, and you have to be alert, you have to see that if I'm writing this correctly. For the part D, can I write, but show, 10 plus 60, 38 minus 8 D, that is a position vector. And this is also the position vector 68 minus 30. Hmm? If I put them equal, you see, I'll be getting the same values of T, either you use the X component or the Y component. So I'll be equating these two. Hmm? And I will get this, I'll be getting this as uh, 60, oh, that is 60, that is equal to 51. And this gives me T is equal to 51 over six. That is 317 are three twos are, that is 8.5. And we should have the same answer if you use the Y component, look at this. This will give you, um, people are coming in late. Now this will give you uh, 38 minus 8T, that is equal to minus 30. So minus 8, T, that is going to be equal to minus 68. And if you solve this, you will get the same value as T equal to 8.5. So that means this is this time is in hours. So we started at 1200 hours, okay? So this means at uh, the part D's answer is going to be, uh, you can either say 2030, okay? You can either say 2030, or you can say 8.30 p.m. This is up to you, okay? Now guys, if there's any question, you have to let me know. Okay, in this eighth question, we have been given, um, it says at 1200 hours, a boat sails from a point P. So we can say that, okay, this is the point P. Initially, boat is here, okay? So this is the OP. Okay, the position vector R kilometer of the boat relative to an origin O T hours after is this. I would better write it as OPT. That is 10, 6 plus T into 512. Which one is, what is the initial position vector of this point P? Tell me quickly, what is the initial position of P? Yes. 10, 6. Very good. G theta beta, 10, 6. And what is the velocity of this, um, whatever job be here, boat, yeah. Hmm? Yes? 5, 12. G beta, G theta. The velocity is going to be 5, 12. Okay? So this is the velocity vector. I hope you people are clear about this. Let me know if there is any problem. This is something that is the problem for the students. If it is clear, then I can proceed. Can I go ahead now? Oh, look at the yes, sir. Parts. He's asking the same thing. Oh, he's asking, look at this, the first part. He says, write down the position of the point P. So we got that. That was 10, six. That's it. Look at the book writer, he's so cheater, is speaking all my time. Then he says, write in the velocity vector of the board. And we got that, that is 512, okay? Find the speed of the board. By the way, this is one of those typical vectors. You can, without any working, you can determine its magnitude. Remember, what is the magnitude of, what is the uh, magnitude of this 512? Yes, anyone remembers that? Hmm? 13. 13. Yeah. Thank you, Beta. That is 13. It's magnitude. That is going to be 13 kilometers per hour. Okay, you better write the unit with this. Okay, 13 kilometers per hour. Acha, then it says, find the distance of the boat from P after four hours. After four hours. So let's put this four, T as four here. This is the part D. So that would be 10, 6 plus four times that is going to be um, 
512. So this is your 10 plus 20, and this is 6 plus 48. So we are here, this is 30, and this is 54. 30 and 54. Achha, this is its position, uh, the position of this P, um, I mean, in four hours. That is not the answer to, to the D part. I think if I, if I had simply multiplied it by four, that could be a simpler way of responding to this. That is 52 kilometers. And uh, speed equal to distance over time. He was only asking for the distance. He was he's not asking for any vector, any position vector. This is the position vector. By the way, please see the working I have done over here, which was not required. That is the position vector of P after four hours. But we had to find the distance, distance it has covered in these four hours. So we have the formula uh, distance equal to speed into time. So I have used that and I get that 52 kilometers. Is there any question, Vacho? Hmm? No, sir. Okay, Achha, Vacho, uh, now you can manage uh, all these questions. I have to tell you in the next video, I'll be doing this question number seven and why I'm going to do this separately, just look at this. It says at 12 hours, a tanker sails from a point P with position vector this, and the tanker sails southeast, okay? This time we're not given the velocity vector. We are given the direction separately and the speed separately. So we have to merge them into the vector form. So uh, we shall do that in the next video.